At 333 West 35th Street in Chicago stands U.S. Cellular Field. And inside that ballpark, there's one office that is unlike all others. Actually, it's as much a museum as an office, filled with treasures from a life devoted to sports and the joys that sports can bring, all chronicling the life of one of the most important sports figures of his era. In a sense, the course for that life was set long ago, on an afternoon in April 1947, when an 11-year-old boy named Jerry arrived early at Ebbets Field, eager to witness history as Jackie Robinson took his position at first base. Jerry never forgot about that day or his love for the Dodgers. And that love came full circle decades later when the kid from Flatbush had the opportunity to buy a Major League Baseball franchise. And so in 1981, Jerry Reinsdorf purchased the White Sox. Jerry, uh, I think he really loved the game of baseball. Grew up in Brooklyn, you know, idolized the Dodgers. My first impression was, Man, this guy really cares, and uh, he cares because he wants us to be competitive and win, and he cares because he loves the game. That's a nice combination. Just two years later, the team made it to the postseason for the first time since the 1950s. The White Sox have won the 1983 American League Western Division title. And by the end of the 80s, Reinsdorf had replaced the old ballpark, Comiskey, with a new one. By that time, Reinsdorf had also purchased the city's basketball team, surrounding an iconic superstar named Jordan, with a strong supporting cast of teammates and an unconventional coach. He was the greatest owner in basketball. He was a guy that left the team be who it was, and he was a an advisor and a guy that was uh, looking for a championship. And the Chicago Bulls have won their first ever NBA championship. Reinsdorf's pieces were in place, and a dynasty was soon in full bloom. Congratulations to the Chicago Bulls, a team for the ages. You can't have a culture of a winning team unless it starts at the top. And Jerry was the centerpiece of that culture. I saw a guy that was very driven. He was driven to the fact that, you know, he wanted to make this city proud. You know, I respected who he was. I respected his leadership as, a, as the owner of the team. And, you know, I, I gave it my all each and every day because of that respect. And, uh, you know, I, I have to you know, give a bunch of credit to, to Jerry. The way that, you know, he runs his business is baseball and basketball. The Bulls' success will never be forgotten, nor will the satisfaction of 2005. And the White Sox have won the World Series! A season that ended with the Southsiders' first World Series title in 88 years. To so all the fans of Chicago, North Side, South Side, West Side, this is for you. There was that urgency to bring that that championship home for, for Jerry, and most you know proudest move of my career for sure. Everybody kept asking me the last couple of days what I did with that last ball, that last out. Well, it's going to this man right here because he earned it. For a man who's accomplished so much, that just shows how much he cares about this team in this city. Getting this ball from Paul Canerco is the most emotional moment of my life. In baseball and in basketball, world championships and everything else, he's the one constant. And that tells you all you have to know. Great seasons and great performances have been the high points of Jerry Reinsdorf's tenure as an owner. But just as important has been his social commitment to the city of Chicago through education and diversity, making him a beloved and admired figure well beyond the playing field. His legacy in the sports world is going to start with his championships, okay? because that's just the way people focus. But the more important legacy is the social responsibility one for me, which is uh, being a community asset, including uh, diversity, progressiveness, and inclusion that he has come to be known for. People want to rate 
owners and judge owners and be judgmental about them. The question always is, did he make his community a better place to live? There can't be anybody left in Chicago who doesn't think that he didn't make that a better city and a better place to live. For Jerry Reinsdorf, a life in sports has been a life spent making an impact. On that afternoon long ago at Ebbets Field, he learned how much could be made possible through sports. And ever since, the memories he's collected and created have been nothing short of unforgettable. Jerry, 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 Jerry.